Hi there, I'm Jenny Tomes, and this little lesson is presented by Port St. Lucie Utility Systems, connected to the community since 1994. We are focusing on clogs, everything clog related today, mostly preventing clogs, which means stopping them before they happen. So we're going to prevent clogs today. It's actually really easy to create a clog, but it's even easier to prevent a clog to make sure it doesn't happen. All right, so let's talk about all of the different ways we use water in our house. So let's think about the laundry room, okay? So you wash clothes in the washing machine. Well, where does that dirty water go? It just goes away, doesn't it? Go somewhere. All right, so let's move into the kitchen. We're using water to wash our dishes, whether it's in the sink or in the dishwasher. Where does that dirty water go? It goes down the drain and it just goes away, doesn't it? Here in the bathroom, when that water goes down the drain as you're taking a shower, it goes down the sink when you're brushing your teeth, when you flush the toilet, that dirty water just goes away. Well, where is away? Away refers to the sewer system. Have you ever really thought about the sewer system? Hmm? No, not so much. All right, we need to think about the sewer system today. We're going to get dirty today, not really, but we're going to talk about all that dirty wastewater and where it goes. Okay, so when it leaves your house from all those different rooms that we talked about, the wastewater leaves your house out of one single pipe. Okay, that one single pipe connects with other pipes underneath the ground that come from other people's houses. All those pipes are connected together and they all lead to the wastewater treatment plant where all that dirty water actually gets cleaned up. So I hate to tell you, but Finding Nemo, when they talk about how all pipes lead to the ocean, that is not accurate. It works for the movie and it helps Nemo out. But here in real life, can you imagine every time you flush the toilet, if all of that went to the ocean? God, that would be horrible. All right, so that's not what's happening, okay? So sorry, Nemo is wrong, sorry. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Nemo is wrong. So all of the pipes that leave all the different houses in your neighborhood all connect to the sewer system, which leads to a wastewater treatment plant. Now we're gonna talk in another little, another little lessons episode about what exactly happens once that wastewater gets to the treatment plant. But for now, let's just focus on the wastewater that leaves your house and how we can prevent clogs, how we can help protect the sewer system by making sure we aren't contributing to any clogs anywhere out there underground in those pipes, okay? All right, so here's my pipe that leaves the house. It's not very big, is it? This is just a small section of it, but it's not very big in diameter, which means big around, okay? Now look at this end. You notice that it's got a coating here, okay? It's got a coating. So this coating is fog. So fog stands for fats, oil, and grease. But Jenny, you're in the bathroom. Why are you talking about fats, oil, and grease? Well, because everything that leaves your house leaves from this one pipe. So all of this fog actually comes from the kitchen. It comes from the kitchen. So think about if you fry up bacon in a pan, all of that grease that's left in the pan, if you're dumping it down the sink, it eventually will cool and harden and form a coating around your pipes. So if you're frying up chicken wings in your fry daddy and you just dump all of that oil down the sink, ultimately that oil will cool and harden and form this coating around your pipes. So you're taking a pipe that's already kind of small around and making it even smaller if you're putting a lot of that fog from the kitchen down the sink. So you want to make sure that you properly dispose of that fog Okay, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Some people will take the bacon grease, pour it in a can to let it cool. Some people freeze it, some people reuse it, but ultimately it needs to stay out of the sink. So whether you throw it in the garbage or whether you reuse it, you just need to make sure that it stays out of that kitchen sink, okay? Because otherwise you're already sort of helping start clogs, okay? All right, so now in the bathroom, you would be amazed what people flush. We're amazed all the time at what people flush. Washcloths, I'm not sure why you would flush a washcloth, but look how thick this is. Look how big and thick this is. If you were to flush that, what do you think is gonna happen? Um, yeah, look, 
It's already clogged. So we want to make sure that we're not flushing any kind of fabric. We want to make sure that we're not flushing socks or shirts or underpants. People flush that kind of stuff. And absolutely, you are going to deal with a clog. So make sure you're not flushing any kind of fabric materials. Make sure you're not flushing diapers. Diapers should absolutely be thrown away in the garbage. And while we're talking about diapers and babies, let's make sure we're not flushing wipes either. Even if it says flushable. Even if it says flushable, don't flush them. These are really thick. Think of these as like just kind of miniature washcloths. They're very, very, very thick. They're not going to break down anytime soon. So if you're flushing those, you've got a clog on your hands. Absolutely. This pipe will clog so easily if you're flushing things like wipes. So you want to make sure that you're keeping that stuff. Okay, so anything that's fabric, material, wipes, diapers, you also want to make sure, and I know you, if any kids are out there watching, I know that you guys would never flush your toys. But we find toys. We find cars and we find Legos and we find lots of like little pieces of things. Never found a whole Barbie, but we have found Barbie doll heads. Okay? I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's fun to make your toys disappear in the toilet. Maybe you flush it and they go away and that's cool. I don't know. Either way, you are absolutely going to cause a clog. And if that toilet gets clogged, guess what happens? It's going to overflow. And then that's a problem and you don't want to deal with all that stuff because we know what we do put in the toilet, right? We put all of our business in the toilet, so you don't want to deal with that. You want to make sure that when you flush it, it truly goes away from your house, okay? We want to make sure that when you flush, it goes away, it enters the sewer system, but you also want to make sure you're helping to protect the sewer system, so you don't want to flush any of this stuff. You want to make sure that this stuff goes not in the toilet, but in the trash can, okay? Because your toilet and your trash can are two totally different things. Trash goes in here, and then the business goes in here. So what can we flush? Well, we flush the three P's. We flush pee, poo, and paper. When I say paper, I mean toilet paper. Not paper towels, not construction paper, not wax paper, not wipes, not washcloths, any of that stuff. Just toilet paper. Just the three P's. That is it. That's all you should be flushing. That's the easiest way to prevent clogs. You will prevent all kinds of clogs if you just keep your trash out of the toilet and put it in the trash can. It's just that simple. It's so easy to do. All right. If you have any ideas for me on a future little lesson, if you have any questions about this one, go ahead and send me an email at jtomes at cityofpsl.com. I'd love to hear any stories that you have. Maybe you have experienced clogs. Maybe you have experienced an overflow. Tell me about it. I'd love to hear about it. Send me an email at jtomes at cityofpsl.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next little lesson.